Welcome, welcome. In this video, we're going to answer the question, can ChatGPT clean your Google Analytics for data? We're going to download and export data from Google Analytics 4, bring it into Google Sheets, and use ChatGPT to try cleaning the data there. You might come across some reports where some of the dimensions, like session default channel group, source, medium, page URL, or other dimensions that don't look quite right. It might differ from what you're used to seeing in Universal Analytics. So what you can do is download the report and bring it into Google Sheets, and then leverage an add-on that uses ChatGPT to clean the data. This is useful if you're unable to configure the default channel group settings in the admin section. You can certainly use if function, search function, or any other functions in Google Sheets to clean your data, but if you're not used to those functions, you might find this alternative a bit easier to use. And we'll take a look at an example here. So we're in the traffic acquisition report from the left navigation under reports. Now your left navigation might look a little different because I've added some custom reports where you can see the links for the videos in the description if you're interested in creating those reports. But we're looking at the traffic acquisition report here and we see our default channel groups. So this looks fine, but when we add a secondary dimension for session source and medium, then things start to look a little bit confusing. So these few rows look fine, but for organic social, for the second line item here, we have blogger.com and the medium is referral. And then there's also another line item here in row four, organic social, t.co, and this has a medium of referral as well. Now t.co is a Twitter URL, so the classification for organic social is correct, but the medium is listed as referral. Now we can change this in a report. So what we'll do is scroll to the right here and click on share this report. Click download file and choose download CSV. And once that file has been downloaded, then open a Google Sheets and bring that into a new sheet where you can import it and choose the file that you just downloaded. You can add it into an, a new spreadsheet or just replace the current sheet and just click import data. Let's expand this column so we can see the data that we have and then we'll add a few more columns in between to give us some working space. And once we do that, go to the top menu, click on extensions, add-ons, and get add-ons. And this new window will pop up and here we can search GPT and we're looking for a GPT for Sheets and Docs. You can click on this GPT for Sheets and Docs by Telerian. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that right. But here you can see what the add-on is capable of and you can install it. I already have it installed, but we'll get out of here. And the first thing you'll need to do once you install is obtain an API key from your ChatGPT account. 
You can use this with a free ChatGPT account. So after you install the add-on, you'll have instructions to go to this link here. And this is where you'll create your secret API key. So click on create new secret key and you'll be given a window with your API key. So copy that and go back to the spreadsheet in Google Sheets, click on extensions, go to GPT for Sheets and Docs and click on set API key and then paste your API key in here. Click on check, make sure it works, save it. And you can close that window. Now you're ready to use ChatGPT and the functions associated with that add-on. We'll actually add another column here. So for any column in column C, right click or right click on the entire column itself and insert a column to the left. Select the data in the column for source and medium and we'll actually copy, paste, and while it's still selected, go to the top menu, select data, split text to columns. And this gives you a preview of the separator that's selected. So what we'll do is click on detect automatically and choose custom. And since the source and medium are separated by space forward slash space, that's what we'll use and type in here to our custom field and now our data has been separated by source and medium. Let's add column headers for these. Now we'll use the chat GPT function to list out our sources. For Twitter there are actually two. There's one that's actually labeled Twitter and then there's another for t.co that's also a Twitter link shortened. We'll use a function from our GPT add-on called GPT extract. So in column E for the corresponding row, row 12, that's the first row in our data set. We'll type equals GPT extract. And for the first parameter, we're going to select the data from what we want to extract. So that's under column C, row 12, comma. And for the second parameter, we'll type in plain language what we want to extract. Open quotation marks, website, title. Close quotation mark and close parentheses. And press enter. You may have to play around with the second parameter to type in different variations in order to achieve what you're looking for. Take the bottom right corner here and drag the column down for your data set. And this gives us the website's titles for each of these sources. Depending on your data set, if you have duplicate values for the column that's produced here, you may need to remove the duplicates and paste them in another spreadsheet so your functions can reference these later. If they're already distinct values, you can just leave them here and just label this column for your reference as source parentheses classification. But for the sake of example, if you have multiple values under this column, create it in another sheet, create a row for headers, we'll bold that, type in source, and right click, paste special, values only. So we can use that to reference and make sure you remove all the duplicates if you have any. And then for 
the medium. Let's go back to sheet three, create another column header for medium. For this blank column, column F, we're going to use a function, a GPT function called GPT underscore classify. We'll select the value under column C for the source and comma and for the categories we're going to select column E and then close parentheses. In your formula you always want to make sure you refer to this set of cells. So we're going to add dollar signs in front of these characters to make sure that's the case. So then we can drag the bottom right corner of this cell down. As you can see it's not perfect so we'll just input our own data that corresponds for rows 14 and 18. But now let's insert another row. So right click on column F and insert one column to the right. And this will be our cleaned medium column. So for this one, we have a list of mediums in this sheet here. And this is what we'll reference for our function. So we'll go back to sheet two and type in equals GPT classify. For the value, we'll select our source from our source column in C, column C, comma, and then go to sheet three and highlight the medium. Those values there. And we wanna make sure that we add the dollar sign so we always reference these cells for any cells that we apply this specific formula to. Then press enter. And then in the bottom right corner of this cell, we'll drag and apply to the other rows. And if we just check to make sure, referral, direct, social for t.co, social for Twitter, referral, and the last one, we can just type in not set. So it's not bad. And for this tag assistant one, you may eventually want to throw this out because that's from your testing for Google Analytics with Google Tag Manager. But let's rename these columns. So we'll call column F source clean and column G medium clean. And then we'll hide these other columns. So we'll highlight them and right click at the top and choose hide. So now this data for sourcing and medium look much better. So let me know in the comments, what do you all think? Are you all going to try this out? Are there any other good chat GPT tools out there for digital analytics? Are there any tools you think I should try? We'd love to hear from you all. Once again, thanks for watching. And if you found this helpful, please like, subscribe, comment, share, and we'll see you in the next episode.